Hello everybody and welcome. So we got another shaky hand cam video because I want to get stuff into production or uh, in use. There we go. So today we are looking at the little NanoPi R1 from Friendly Elect. Let's check it out. Okay. So here we have the board. And as you can see, we have a Bluetooth Wi-Fi module there, eMMC, a gigabit uh, chip for the gigabit port. We have fast Ethernet over here. We have two USB 2s, some status LEDs, UART, a Wi-Fi connector the, out to a coax, uh, power, three pins, I don't remember what those are for, because, uh, real time's over there, maybe I squared C, and that's it, on the bottom we have SD card, a button, our processor, which is the H3, and one gigabyte of RAM, and, to go along with this, we have the metal case and the heatsink. But I did want to compare the R1 to the Neo Plus 2. So from an overview, you can definitely see that the R1 is larger, but they definitely stem from a similar idea of board. Uh, this also runs the H3. They both have USB, two USB 2s. This one has no GPIO. This one does. Um, SD card, this also has gigabit plus a um, eMMC on the bottom. And this one has Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi antenna on the hard case because I do have the metal case for both of them. Yay! Anyways, so I want to get this in its case. So let me go ahead and get the heat sink attached. And that's, you know, pretty bog standard. You take this, you put the heat pad on there, you put that on there, and you screw it down. I don't need to show that, do I? Okay, so I have that attached and as you can see I used copper shims. And the main reason I did that was the heatsink dissipates to the case and I'm going to be running this in a 24-7 subnet filter box thing. Uh, so, that's one reason. Anyways, uh, so all you do is you slot it in the box. Eh. They're like little rails inside. And, damn it. Okay, so all you do is you just slide it in. And it is a nice, tight, snug fit. So I went ahead and took off both panels so you can see how tight that fits together. And that's the reason I wanted to use the copper shims is so more heat will dissipate to the case and cool everything better. Anyways, time to get it together. And there we are. So you can see the metal case is on. I just need to add my rubber feet and everything is nice and labeled. So we have LAN, WAN, and system. The lights don't line up. What? Well, that's kind of weird. I'm gonna fix that off camera. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, can't wait to get this stuff into use for my upcoming project can't wait thanks for watching if you liked it hit the like button if you disliked it you know how that button works and ding that bell because 
Veritasium says so, damn it. Anyways, 